This next exercise, I need you all uh, to not only be facing me, which you are mostly, but I'd like you to sort of gather in closer as a bunch. You'll need a little bit of room around yourselves because in a moment, in a moment, I'm going to be sharing a story with you that's going to invite you to move. Uh, it'll be really clear. I'll make it very loud so that you can actually hear what I'm saying, but it is a particular story about a husband and wife in a, a particular situation. And as you hear parts of the story, I want you to respond. It's simple. You will have heard something like this before. But anytime you hear me say the word left, I want you to quickly step left. Now, ideally, we'll actually see everyone move as one to the left. Whenever I say the word right, you will all quickly step to the right as one unit. Naturally, you don't want to make a mistake. There are no eliminations, but that's all you need to do. Listen carefully and respond accordingly to the story as you go. All right. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Fantastic. So just shake out the tension you might be holding at this point. All right. Recognizing the space you're going to be working with. I'd like to tell you a story about Mr. and Mrs. Wright. That way. <laughs> Just in case anyone's confused, that would have been that direction. <laughs> One evening, they were baking cookies and Mrs. Wright suddenly called out, Oh no, there's no flour left. You will need to go out to the store right now. I can't believe you forgot to check the pantry, grumbled Mr. Wright. Oh, it'll only take 20 minutes if you come right back. Go to the corner of 1st and 2nd Streets, then turn left at the stop sign, then go to 43rd Street and turn left, and the shop will be on your left, declared Mrs. Wright as her husband left the house. <laughs> Mr. Wright found the store and asked the assistant where he could find the flower. The assistant pointed and said, go to aisle four and turn left. The flour and sugar will be on your left. Mr. Wright made his purchase and walked right out the door. He turned left, but he couldn't remember where he had left his car. Suddenly, he remembered that he had driven Mrs. Wright's car and that his car was in the driveway at home right where he had left it. <laughs> he finally found the right car, opened the boot and put the flower right inside. Eventually, a weary Mr. Wright found his way home. Mrs. Wright had been waiting impatiently. <laughs> I thought you would be right back, she said. I left all the cookie ingredients on the kitchen counter and the cats got into the milk. You have just got to go right back to the shop again. Mr. Wright sighed. He had no money left, no energy left. I'm going right to bed, he said, and left Mrs. Wright standing in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Give yourselves a hand.